That's why uh, the microbes do. If you have Lego, you can build a house, but you can build also a robot, a skyscraper and something. But when you break this, uh, let's say, for example, you, you destroy the house, yeah. but the pieces of the Lego are still there. It's the same thing in nature. The molecules are still there and they are still intact. And the, the engineers, you know, the, the microbes can still take it and build something else. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. So if I understand correctly, you have this company you take recycle molecule and then your engineers which is the yeast and bacteria they just way more efficient in your design process and then they can more efficiently produce new enzymes to I have the CEO and founder of ProBioSphere, Pierre Fanfan, with me. His company is super interesting because they do recycle molecules and to create new enzymes. And he's going to explain to me about this technology. How can I explain bacteria and microbes? Microbes are the builders of, of, of nature. The same way that, you know, we use Lego pieces and we can build a house. When the house is broken, we can retrieve all those pieces and give them you know, to bacteria. So they are like the engineers that build all nature around us. <laughs> so they will put each and every uh, molecule that comes from all you yeah. know, like, molecules. Let's take a step back. So yeah. your process is you take recycled molecules and the recycled molecules, some of the example you gave it to me is... Yes, whey protein. You had the milk, which is, let's say, a construct. Yeah. When cheese producers remove, make the cheese, they have the whey material, which is like a waste for them. Yeah. Yeah. So we can take this whey material, which is, let's say, uh, one molecule, we give it to those builders are uh, called uh, yeast microbes the microbes yeah. and they will uh, produce other type of proteins by rearranging you know or uh, every pieces you know of yeah. the like a lego uh, uh, yeah. Play. Yeah. and they will build some enzymes that we will produce enzymes from the waste yeah. that we can sell for other use in um, protection of the environment for example uh, wastewater treatment uh, water treatment uh, soil decontamination etc yeah, that's so cool um, if I may ask so then the secret lines behind your company is you might have a better way for those bacteria and yeast to reproduce is that correct absolutely absolutely so microbes and including bacteria and yeast, are our little engineers, yeah. Yeah, superpower engineers. So when we give them some broken uh, molecules, molecules that are yeah. uh, recycled, yeah. so they can reship them, we put them and build other material, new Is material. Is the way you arrange the bacteria that's different from how other people do it so that you can be more efficient? Uh, absolutely. So that's why uh, the microbes do. If you have a Lego, you can build a house but you can build also a robot, a skyscraper and something. But if and your, your engineers knows better to build. Exactly. When you when you break this, uh, let's say, for example, you, you destroy the house, yeah. but the pieces of the Lego are still there. It's the same thing in nature. Yeah. Uh, okay. The molecules are still there and they are still intact. And the, the engineers, you know, the, the microbes can still take it and build something else. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. So you have this company, you take recycle molecule and then your engineers, which is the yeast and bacteria, they're just way more efficient in your design process and then they can more efficiently produce new enzymes for other use cases. And How would you explain this to an eight-year-old? Let's say that uh, the, a kid build a Lego and then afterwards it breaks it yeah. and all the molecules which are um, the different Same type of blocks, the, the blocks, the different blocks are all, you know, scattered everywhere because, you know, they are, they are not used anymore. That's what in the society we call a waste. So we are going to take those parts <laughs> and, you know, give it back to yeah. the microbes and the microbes will build some new, very new uh, 
uh, the microbes are like the architects. The architects will build very new material yes. that we use again and again. Yeah, yeah. it's a great uh, metaphor for a year old. And now it's going to answer a question from a previous guest. We need okay. a lot of infrastructure yeah. for all of our new climate tech. What's the most important infrastructure that we need to reach our climate goals? This is a very difficult one. In terms of in infrastructure, we, we will need infrastructure as long as we have human and on the earth, on the face of, of this planet. So it would be better if infrastructures be built out of, you know, sequestered carbon material um, that uh -huh. keep the carbon from going back to the atmosphere. So you we recycle um, the carbon, we would make a sequestration and keep it in a material and with this material we can build our new buildings, our roads, our uh, everything. So we, we keep the carbon, you know, from, from yeah. going back to it's the atmosphere. It's interesting, yeah. no matter how the question is structured, people always go back to the root root cause, which is the carbon dioxide. Carbon, carbon dioxide. So if you leave a question for the next guest. My question for the next guest is, I mean, all the countries have different goals, very, very ambitious goals of, you know, reaching net zero. Do you think this is um, possible? Achievable. Do you think this is achievable? <laughs> That's a good question. Let's, Let's make climate, climate cool, cool again. again. Yes. Together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and do not necessarily reflect the official decision of ice ice climate tech. We thank our guests for sharing their insights and experiences, and we thank you, our listeners, for joining us on this journey. Until next time. <laughs>